Hi guys, I'm Sushil from Networkers Home Technical Team and today's topic is Panorama. Panorama is a centralized manager for Palo Alto firewalls. So let's understand. Today's agendas are Panorama theoretical part and Panorama integration with the Palo Alto firewall. So let's get started. First of all, we'll understand Panorama is a centralized manager for Palo Alto firewalls. So we can create, manage different type of policies, and manage the multiple firewalls at a time, right? Now, the major purpose of your panoramas are your centralized configuration management, centralized logging and reporting, centralized deployment and management of multiple firewalls. We do have multi-purposes with panorama. You can see we can manage our uh, campus area networks like small branch offices. Also, we can manage data centers, right? different location branches also we can manage so this is a kind of a centralized manager for multiple firewalls for multiple locations now we can see in panorama you need to put a license license is most important part in your panorama so you based on the license you can have number of firewalls integrated with your panorama device like 2500 or 1000 or more than that it totally depends on your model number and the license set of your panorama mostly you can see panorama is deployed in active passive deployment for redundancy now this is one of the hardware model number of your panorama which is scalable and deployed in a large scale uh, in your real times right and we can also have virtual panorama used for ESXi or we deploy it on our ESXi platform to manage our multiple firewalls. Now, this is your hardware of a panorama. So here we can see M100. So it's a simple high performance dedicated appliance for panorama. This is the model number which can be used for maintaining or managing the multiple firewalls in your different locations. Your panorama can help you or can get the updates from your cloud itself and through the panorama we can push those updates to your firewalls and we can manage so you can see panorama can manage or download software content licenses updates and the update from the license servers servers so these are the details you can see now you can see in this way we can download the updates from the panorama and we can further manage it on our firewalls okay now we are going to see practical of panorama in which you'll see we have one manager pc connected with https with panorama here panorama ip is 105.0.0.200 through ssl protocol it will be connected with multiple firewalls so we have two firewalls in our lab we have Palo Alto one and we have Palo Alto two and the ip address of Palo Alto one is 201 and Palo Alto 2 is 202. The most important part here, what you have to understand, both the firewalls and your panorama, all three devices required license. Without license, the, uh, this deployment is not possible. So panorama integration with firewalls only possible if you have a license on all the firewalls. So let's see our practical. I'll take you to my remote lab where I'll wherein I'll show you all the practicals and I'll show you the license details of your panorama. So this is my firewall. Okay, first of all, let me get you into panorama. So this is our panorama and on panorama, uh, let me take you to panorama tab and we can go to license tab here. So on the license, you can see we have a license of never expire. Okay, so we can deploy multiple fire, firewalls under the panorama. You can see up to 1K devices I can manage through this license to this panorama. Okay, now let me take you to my firewalls. This is my PA1 firewall. In PA1 firewall, you can see again license details. So here you can see a license detail. So I have a license till 2027 for multiple features. Same way you need to have a license on the other firewalls. So let me click on license. 
So here you can see we have the license details over here, right? So same type of license I have on both the firewalls. So to integrate your firewall with Panorama, make sure you have this type of licenses with you, then only it's possible. Now let's deploy our firewall. Let's integrate our firewall with our Panorama. So first of all, you guys have to go to Panorama tab. Inside the Panorama tab, you'll see Manage the Devices. Under the Manage Devices, you'll see Summary tab. So click on Summary, and you have to click on Add. So it is asking you for serial number. So here, you guys have to go to your firewall and take a serial number of your firewall. So you can go to dashboard of your firewall. Let's take PA1 firewall serial number. So I can see this is the serial number. Copy serial number and paste it on your firewall. Now, above 10.x, if you are deploying the firewall, then you need to generate the auth key. But below that, or 10.x would not require the auth key for the uh, integration. But if you have above 10.x version of your firewall and panorama, in that case, you have to generate a key and you have to copy this key and put it on the firewall as well. But in our case, it's not required. So let's click on OK. And I would click on OK. So I can see my firewall has been deployed here. Same way, I'll take another firewall, serial number. So let me click here on the dashboard. And I'll take the serial number of other firewall. I'll put it here. Again, as I told you, if you want the key-based authentication, which is possible above 10.x version only, but for our current version, which we are working, is 10.x. So we don't require this auth key. With the serial number itself, we can do integration. So we'll click on OK. <clears throat> so click on OK. Now we have two firewalls here, okay? And I can go to each and every firewalls now. So let's go to Palo Alto Firewall 1. I'll go to Device. In Device, you can go to Setup tab. And here you have Panorama Settings. So come here and add the IP of your Panorama. So it's 105.0.0.200. This recovery, automated recovery option, I'll disable it and I'll click on OK. And once we give this option, commit the changes. Same thing we have to do on other firewall. So this is our Palo Alto 2 firewall. On this device, again, we'll go to device, setup. Under this setup, we'll go to management. We'll go to panorama servers. And here we'll give 105.0.0.200 IP. I'll disable automated recovery and say OK and commit the changes. Now, same way, we have to commit the change on Panorama. So commit to Panorama, you can click here and let all the settings get saved. We can track the commit on all the devices. On Firewall 1, we can see. It has been successfully committed. Firewall 2 about to complete. And once it is completed, then we can go to Panorama as well. So on Panorama also, we can see successfully committed. Palo Alto 2 about to complete. Let it complete now. Yeah, it's completed. Now let's come to Panorama over here. Now here status shows you still disconnect. So you have to click on refresh over here. So you, you can see one got connected. Same way, keep refreshing and other firewall will also get connected here. Now you can see after a few minutes or a few seconds, you can say both the firewalls got connected. So in this way, we integrated both the firewalls with our firewall, uh, with our panorama, sorry. Now these two firewalls can be managed with your panorama. Okay, now you have to import the configurations from the firewall to your panorama in order to manage your firewall. So what you can do, go to setup and you can go to operation tab. 
from the operation, you can see import device configuration to panorama. So here I can select my firewall, like I'll select a, a PA1 and say OK. And you can see successfully deployed. And as soon as it gets deployed, you can see policy tab and network tab. Device group tab and template type tab gets activated here. Now this is the one thing. Now again, we'll import the configuration for other firewall. So come here. Now go to PAVM2 and say OK. Let it get imported. So once it gets imported here, now you can see two firewalls got imported here. So if you want to see the firewall details, you can see firewall one, firewall two, both has been integrated here, right? You can click on dashboard and you can check. If you want to see devices here, then you can click on device group. You can see PA1, PA2. So if you want to configure individually any one of the firewall like PA1, then you can click on this, okay? Or if you want to configure on PA2, you can configure it like this. So likewise, you can use a device group tab or network tab. And finally, you can make the changes and commit the changes to your panorama first, right? And if you make changes to your firewalls, then you have to go with other commit options like push device config or commit and push the other options we have. So guys, in this video, we understood how to integrate your firewalls with Panorama device, right? In next video, we'll see how to configure policies. Till then, please subscribe our channel and see you in the next video. Thank you.